Today, Kevin and I are going to review, be reviewing the Trader Joe's Rust, Rustic Apple Tart. It, um, it just looks very, very yummy from the picture on the box. It was $4.99 at Trader Joe's. It says, Trader Joe's Rustic Apple Tart is made the old-fashioned way using northern spy apples that are blended with sweet cream cheese, cinnamon, and sugar. The crust is hand folded and baked to perfection before getting glazed and topped with coarse sugar for an authentic home baked appearance and taste. Delicious on its own or when paired with either vanilla ice cream or caramel sauce drizzled on top. Uh, that sounds good too, either way, ice cream or caramel, but we will be reviewing it, of course, by itself. One fourth of the tart, or 125 grams, is 370 calories. And there are four servings in the box. So when you see it, you just cut it into fourths if that's if you want that size, and that's going to be about 370 calories. So it's very very simple. You preheat your oven to 350, which mine is is getting to that temperature now. It's it's working its way up, and then you put it on a baking sheet and uh, a cookie sheet and you bake it for 20 to 25 minutes or until the center is warm. I would think after 20 or 25 minutes in a 350 degree oven that the center would be warm. It says sit for two minutes before slicing. So this is really cute. It's literally in the package like this. And then this is the bottom of it. And it's smaller than what I thought it would be. So I can understand how you just cut it into fourths. But I tell you what, that's going to be a big slice for how many calories was that? 370. But you're getting a fourth of that's going to be a big. So you take the plastic off, of course. <laughs> and you just lay it it didn't say to put parchment paper or anything like that i guess i probably should have if kevin were here he would probably put parchment paper just because it's easier to clean you know what i'm going to just because i don't want to have to struggle i use these reynolds cookie uh cookie baking sheets but it just it's just makes your life so much easier because literally, I won't have to clean this pan. I'll be able to just put the pan away. So I am gonna do that. So I'm gonna put that on there. My oven is almost, it's at 309 degrees and going up. So I'm gonna put this in for probably, I'll probably set my timer for 22 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the oven and I let it cook, uh, bake for 22 minutes exactly and then I took it out and I thought that it would be uh, very um, firm to where I could just take the spatula and take it up under there and move it, and it's not. It's very flexible, and it started to crack when I did that. So what I did was, I, I'm so glad I cooked it on parchment paper. I took the parchment paper and I slid, slid it, it off onto the plate. It worked out perfectly. That's good, dude. And my pan's clean, like I said earlier. <laughs> now. You're gonna be surprised. I don't even know what this is. It says there are four servings here and you just cut it in four. So that's a big piece, isn't it? Yeah, for how many gallons? 370. But that's if, still if you- That's still pretty good size. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's a, that's a big piece. We are not gonna eat a piece that big, but- I think you missed the middle. I missed the middle. Yeah, okay, you're kind of over in this aisle. Picky, 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 picky. The, you're calling me picky. I don't weigh, weigh stuff. I only weigh one thing. What do I weigh? Bread. No, I don't weigh my bread. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. I do weigh my peanut butter, but that's it. Okay. And I will, I've taken a picture, like I said, of the top. I'll take another one of So what is this? This is the uh, rustic apple tart, and it has... It has um, almonds in it. Go ahead and take you a little bite. It has northern spy apples. Uh, sweet cream cheese, cinnamon, and sugar. Um, the crust is topped with coarse sugar. You know, it, it never mentions the almonds, but there are clearly almond all slivers over. all over it. But it never mentioned almonds in the... Um... <laughs> I swear I don't see almonds on the ingredient list. 
I'm, maybe I'm blind. Well, you know I'm blind. I well, no, no, one of us is, now people are going to be wondering if almonds was on there. You need to try back here, too. Mm -hmm. Try back, try that too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That crusty piece. No, you got to scoop it. It's got stuff. It's got an apple in it. Oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. if, if you hold it mm -mm. like this, I might be able to see it. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has almonds in it. I mean, they're all over the place. Mm, it does say almonds. Okay. That's phenomenal. That's really, really good. That is awesome. Absolutely love that. Because almonds had a different flavor. I've never, I've never had almonds and apples kind of like a pie. I know it's a tart, but it tastes like an apple pie. But you get those, um, those almonds in there too, and they're, they have a little bit of a different texture than the apples mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. They're almost chewy though, of course they've been baked. Mm -hmm. They're not crispy. They're almost like, um, they're softer. Eat one. Eat just an almond. Eat just the crap. Yeah. They're softer, almost like a, almost like a peanut. Mm, you could eat those like candy. Mm -hmm. They're really good. Those whole things are really good. I'm gonna finish this piece. That's awesome. I would buy that again and again and again. Uh, it was only $4.99, and you could get eight slices out of that. You don't have to cut it in that fourth. You could easily get eight out of there. Now, me and Kevin will eat. Want a fourth. Yeah, we'll eat a fourth, but you don't have. I wonder to how well this heats back up. Like well, microwave. I guess we'll be finding out. Yeah. But that I, would be the only thing I'd worry about. The apple flavor is mm. uh, phenomenal. I love the cinnamon. Mm. Uh, the crust is excellent. If this is seasonal, then and you like it, then you should get a couple of them. Yeah. For, 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 go. for five bucks a piece or whatever, I would I would get a couple of these um, because that is really really good and once you have this one you're gonna you're just gonna want more mm -hmm. <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed the review and thanks for watching